Hello again. Congratulations on your success in the first section. In this video, we will remember the process of solving a primary inequality, that is, all those steps we take in a first degree inequality in order to bring it to the simple form we saw before in the previous section. For example, x greater than minus 7. This figure shows which numbers verify it, so they are solutions to the inequality such as the minus 6 that is within the solutions and which are not like minus 8 but also minus 7 itself. The process of solving inequalities, as you may recall, is very similar to solving the first degree equations. Now, let's remember the main process of resolving a first degree inequality. find the least common multiple of the denominators, also called least common denominator, by checking the largest of the three, six in this case, as an LCD candidate, as six equals two times three, it's already multiple of three, but six equals four times 1.5, and 1.5 is not an integer, so six is not a multiple of four. Then we try the next multiple of six, two times six, three times six, etc., until we get the first multiple of six that can be divided by four, two. Here, 2 times 6 equals 12 is a multiple of 3 and 4, so it is the LCD. Then multiply 12 by all terms of the inequality. The inequality has 4 terms divided in its two parts, so we want 4 twelves, 1 for each term. 12 times the first term, 12 times the second, etc. As we said, 12 is multiplied by all four terms. But 12 is not used to be multiplied by the numerators, it is used to be simplified with the denominators and eliminate them. So, it is simplified with the first denominator, 3, that is, they are both divided by 3 and the denominator becomes 1, so it's eliminated while 12 becomes 4. Similarly to the other fraction, 12 is simplified with 6 and becomes 2. Then, we write the inequality, simplified, putting parentheses where needed. In the numerator of the first fraction, we had one term, a product of two times a parenthesis, so we don't need to put another parenthesis. So, we just write 4 times 2 times the parenthesis, so straight 8 times the parenthesis. In the second fraction, we had two terms, a sum of two terms, x plus 1, so this has to be put in a parenthesis. In the third fraction, like in the first one, 3 times 3, which is 9 times x minus 1, in a parenthesis. Then we multiply using the distributive property meeting the signs. Plus 8 times plus x equals 8x and plus 8 times minus 2 equals minus 16. Then pay attention. Minus 2 times plus x equals minus 2x and minus 2 times plus 1 equals minus 2. Then we separate the known from the unknown terms. Whenever a term changes half of the inequality, its sign also changes. First, the unknown terms from, from left to right. Ax and minus 2x remain in the first part, so we copy them with the same sign, y 9x, from the second part comes in the first part and change the sign, it becomes minus 9x, and all terms end and we write the symbol of the inequality, likewise for the long terms from left to right. 
minus 16 and minus 2 went to the second part and became class 16 and class 2, just that 16 is in front and the sign class is not written. Minus 9 and class 12 don't change because they stay in the second part of the report. We add like terms in both parts. We think 8 minus 2 minus 9 times x equals minus 3x in the first part, then the less than sign, and then the positive first, 16 plus 2 plus 12 equals 30, and finally 30 minus 9 equals 21 in the second part. The inequality has taken the form ax less than minus b or greater than minus b. Now it is the time to divide both parts of the inequality by the coefficient of x as long as it is not zero. We rewrite its two parts below without the symbol of the inequality between them. We divide them by the coefficient, that is, we denote the coefficient as denominator of both parts. And if the coefficient is negative, we change the direction of the inequality sign, otherwise we leave it as it is. This can be either written or done in our minds one way or the other. We rewrite the inequality simplified. Minus 3 is simplified and x remains in the first part, while 21 divided by minus 3 equals minus 7 in the second part. Then, we present the solutions on a number line, the axis of the real numbers. Minus 7 is the boundary between numbers that have solutions and numbers that are not, but it belongs to those that are not solutions. This is shown on the axis from the hollow circle and the line that does not go down vertically, but it slightly lateral to the side of the solutions. We also write the solutions in the form of an interval. Recall that in the form the solutions are presented as follows. We say that x belongs to the open minus 7, comma plus infinity open. The word open and the parenthesis symbol indicate that the number minus 7 is not included in the solutions. In infinity, minus or plus infinity, we always put a parenthesis and therefore the word open can be omitted. But if the coefficient of the unknown x is 0 and the second part of the equality is not, then the equality is either impossible or indefinite identity depending on the sign of the second part, but also depending on the direction of the inequality. We check its truth, as we've learned in the previous chapter, and we decide accordingly. If it's true for every x, then it's an identity, otherwise it is impossible. If both the coefficient of the unknown x and the second part are zero, then the equality is impossible or indefinite identity, depending on whether it is a pure inequality or not. If now, by solving an equality, we arrive at x equals or less than 3, then 3 is included in the solutions, and this, in the axis, is shown by the full dot and the vertical line that then turns to the side of the solutions. The corresponding symbolism for the solutions interval is the square bracket and the word closed. That is to say, x belongs to the minus infinite comma three closed interval. If we were in class, you would ask me your questions. You can use the discussions forum or wait until we meet. Keep up the good work. See you soon. Until the next video, bye.